Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory Way to Showdowns Brazil. This is episode 17. This is where the business end happens. And as you can see, we've got our first team of the season player in the team as well as a few informs, second inform as well. So we're going to be going for some more expensive players this episode. We're going to go try and lock some in. So the first wage we're going to go for today is for Diego Alves. If that happens, um, he is a lock-in and we free, feel free to go for man of the matches and team of the season cards. If any of you lot are after Ultimate Team Coins, or go and check out fifacoinstash.com. Their links are down below. Make sure you check them out. The team we come up against instantly is a 3-5-2 Bundesliga sweat team. This game was fucking solid, really tight. Uh, I couldn't really push forward because of it just felt like he was going to get me on the counter-attack and I had to be very careful on that. But later on in the game, an opportunity broke for me with Ronaldinho just to lever it from, uh, from outside the area and it went in. His shot from outside the area is ridiculous. Uh, I also love him. Um, I love his determination, even though he's one of the slowest people on the fucking game when you're doing a counter-attack. Uh, I was really annoyed with him. Got very lucky here as well. I would, would you class that as a skill run? Uh, I'll inform Pato there, scoring straight after the goal with Ronaldinho uh, to make it a 2-0 win. We did get a red card as well in the 73rd minute. Uh, I didn't even realise it. I think um, I think he just dropped him uh, and gave away a penalty. Um, he missed the penalty and we got a red card. So the game finished 2-0. That is the first win. That is Diego Alves in the team. Team. So, what I'm going to try and do now with this is try and get this finished ASAP. A lot of people are getting a little bit bored of FIFA 13. Fair enough, I am as well and find it quite hard hard to play. Um, so, there's Cesar going. Uh, really good keeper. I would rate Cesar as the best Brazilian goalkeeper. Um, so, we're going to put Alves... Um, that, what's his name? I've got his name now. Diego Alves into the team uh, and takes Cesar out. So we're going to try and get Cesar back in the team quite rapidly. Uh, maybe his man of the match version or even his in form. Or maybe even Arthur Moraes. You let me know in the comment section below which player you'd rather see. So the second game. This is for David Luiz. This is to get um, a non-rare gold centre-back in the team. And it's also against Clutch. Um, Jammy Bastard got a penalty. What a Jammy Bastard. Uh, don't know why he gave a penalty, but he did. And the Carlson, who is a beast of a Brazilian player, uh, does score it, giving him a 1-0 lead. Now, these are the type of wages where I don't want to be losing. Even though it's only 5k, uh, not a lot of money really, it's annoying when I lose it. And it does cost me a hell of a lot when it goes to upgrading because we've got to pay the money and downgrade as well. So Ronaldinho on the 30th minute equalising for us. Nice little tidy shot it was as well. Uh, and in the second half we scored an absolute belt of outside the area with Ramirez giving us a 2-1 lead. And that was how the game stood. A 2-1 win giving us another upgrade. So David Luiz in the team taking Antonio Ferreira out uh, and that also sets us up very very nicely going into the final game the player well one of the most this is probably the most expensive wager we've done so far so this wager next is going to be for man of the match Santos Neymar this is a really rare card uh, along with his second man of the match who is definitely going to be one who we're going to try and wager further down the line if anyone is up for that wager let me know uh, on Twitter tweet me and prove that you've got the card and we will wager that we'll even do it as like a series finale to see if we can actually wager for an 88 rated Barca Neymar um, very rare card indeed and only a limited amount of people have got him so this is a wager we're going to go going for for a man of the match Neymar very difficult opponent there was uh, a bit of controversy with this uh, with, with this game the game before um, I actually lost the wager hands up fair enough was uh, was going to pay him um, but I started editing the video uh, and then he had stat cards on two of the players now as everyone knows who follows this series and even does wages themselves they will know that stat cards are not available like totally not available for anyone to, to, to use over wage matches it gives an unfair advantage so he was happy enough to accept that he had used something to give him the advantage uh, and we just did a rematch really so I was leading the match uh, until the 89th minute and then this shit happened. Uh, it always happens, ball's bouncing around, Defend, uh, his striker kicks my defender's foot and gets a penalty. So in the 89th minute he gets a penalty with Remy who he's brought on for S-Wine uh, and he does tuck away the penalty to the left hand side exactly the same way which Clutch went. But I was generally pissed off, I thought the FIFA gods were totally against me, I even felt it coming, um, it's just one of them things, there's nothing you can do about it, it tucks away the penalty and uh, it's game over basically, he's taking extra time and he was a very difficult opponent. 
uh, M for Marley, his Twitter name was. Um, so me being determined to try and get a little bit of luck, uh, decided to go hell for leather and try and finish a game before, uh, before extra time. Because extra time for me is a dark time. I am terrible in it and... Uh, don't ever want to go there and if we go to penalties I'm gonna lose on penalties it's just it's just how I feel uh, FIFA is for me so in the background now is the gameplay the remainder of the game uh, showing how strong and well showing a bit of my dribbling technique as well a lot of people uh, know FIFA 14's dribbling I won't be able to do this type of stuff uh, I'll have to switch it out and go for something else so a nice little one to there from Ronaldinho his player pulls up tramp goal so in the 90th minute we managed to get a tramp goal and win 1.2 million. Absolutely ridiculous chance. I couldn't believe how much it opened up for me uh, and I was very lucky to walk away with it. It was just a shame that the original wager match he used stat cards otherwise it would have been him walking away with the 1.2 million and it would have been me uh, basically left with no upgrade. So here we are putting Neymar into the team and uh, basically signing out. So guys if you have enjoyed this video please smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, comment in the section below, check out for coin stash for your ultimate team coin needs uh, and if you're interested in that second man of the match name I wager hit me up on twitter with proof and we'll get that shit organized so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you again next time